Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation called How to Avoid the Summer Slump and I'm Katherine Maley. So here's here's where the current frustrations are coming from because I'm the one who gets all the phone calls of uh, when things are good and definitely when things are bad. So here's what I'm hearing right now. Things have slowed down in the summer. The staff needs to stay busy. I'm still paying them, but they're not half as busy as they used to be. So now I can walk in and they're just kind of standing around. There are way too many holes in my schedule and we need to convert more consultations. So that's when I said, okay, it's time to do a webinar on how to avoid the summer slump because this is common if you don't do anything. So hopefully today's seminar is gonna motivate you to get things moving and I'll give you some ideas that you can do right now, okay? So here's what you're gonna discover. What you can do now to heat up the summer revenues. Life did not completely stop. The whole world did not go on vacation, so I promise you that. So we're also gonna look at simple strategies to boost your skincare to surgery revenues or at least skincare to something bigger right? And then where to focus your efforts during the dog days of summer. It's so funny because I'm a marketer and I'm really big on themes. So in the summer, there's so many of them. You heat up, you sizzle, you've got dog days of summer. That's really funny. And that's actually a pearl. You should use those types of themes in your own marketing efforts. So just in case you don't know me, because I know a lot of the doctors spread this to their staff or they pass it around and people are like, who's this? Who's Catherine Mealy? So just in case you don't know me, it, I'm the author of Your Aesthetic Practice, What Your Patients Are Saying. It's a great book. Um, I interviewed the aesthetic patients and I asked them what they wanted, what they didn't want, why they chose you over your competitor, what you could have done for them to say yes. It's a really good read. And then I speak a lot um, or at the medical meetings and I used to speak just in the US and then it moved to Canada and now I am international. I've spoken Geneva and London and I'm heading to Italy. So that part's been really fun. And then I do a lot of writing for the medical uh, journals in the uh, industry like healthy aging, aesthetic surgery. As a matter of fact, I'm on their board and just on a personal note, people always ask me where I live, and um, I live right off the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know if you've been to San Francisco. By the way, it is gorgeous today. And if you are in San Francisco and you go over the Golden Gate Bridge, you dump off at this little town. You go under a tunnel, and then it opens up. The weather gets a lot better, by the way, but it's still a little on the chillier side. And it's called Sausalito. And you see the picture there with all the little boats? It's a very popular little boat community. And then the picture on the top, that is my dog, Kendall. She's a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, and we hike a lot. So that's why, you know, you go from San Francisco. I used to live there for a long time. And then I just wanted to live near nature. So that is that. It's beautiful. Please, I, I welcome you to join us. But here's the secret to join to uh, being a tourist in San Francisco. Come in September and October. The weather is gorgeous. Right now in the summer, it's way too foggy. So here's what I know for a fact to avoid the summer slumps. You want to follow the trends. And that's what I do most of the day. I look at the aesthetic patient and I say, where are they? Who are they? And what is prompting them for aesthetic services? So here's the big one is social trends. We still have 76 million baby boomers who are now getting older and they're changing. Their marital status is changing, whether they're suddenly single or they're newly divorced or they're getting married again or who, who knows. But also the jobs are changing. Some people are recreating themselves. Um, they were with a big company who now, you know, major layoffs or they're back in the job market for whatever reason or their kids grew up and now they're back out there. They've got to stay competitive. And there are social events all over the place. If you think about it, in the summer, we happen to come back out after hibernating, after a long, cold, snowy winter, if you live in other parts of the country. So you're just out and about more. And that that emotionally makes you want to look as good as you feel because now you're going to be out in the public. Also, the economic trends, those keep changing, don't they? It feels like the economy is coming back. I, I don't know. I don't know if the economy is ever going to come back the way it was, but it might be years. But it does feel like it's getting better. And there are still businesses that slow down or close for a few weeks in the summer. The Silicon Valley is notorious for that. So summer can be the perfect time for people to actually get aesthetic rejuvenation because they actually do have some time off, especially if you're te a teacher or some of the um, 
some of those uh, seasonal jobs, I don't, I don't know what they are. Maybe you work at a, a ski place and in the summer you're off, who knows? Um, also, but think about people who work on um, on um, commissions. They often get bonuses, quarterly bonuses. So they just got one or they're going to get one in June. So that's a really good one. And also people get divorce settlements and they get inheritance. So be, keep in mind, 76 million baby boomers came from parents who typically save their money. It's not like today where everyone's spending it as fast as they're making it. So inheritance, if I'm not mistaken, there was something like $13 trillion is being passed down to the baby boomers who then are passing it down to their family. So there is a bunch of money circulating out there, believe it or not. And then of course the technology trends, look at what's happening with the technology. It's all less, it's less downtime, less scarring, less invasive, less pain. It's cheaper, it's faster. That means you wanna get real creative with using the various technologies to keep you busy all year. So here's the point. The demand for rejuvenation is year round. The reason it slows down in the summer is because people do have other reasons to spend their money elsewhere or spend their time elsewhere unless you attract them to you. So the point is, is if you put in some grease, you know, elbow grease and a little creativity, you can still keep your place flowing with aesthetic patience. You might need to tweak a few things, but the, the point here is you do need to put in some effort, a, probably a little more than normal is the point. Because patients really do have endless needs. They're going to enter your practice from all different doors. They may, let's say it's the summer, let's say they just want to come in for some retail products like sunblock. Well, if treated correctly and if you use some of the strategies I'm going to set up here, they're going to go right up the ladder to more things that they can get done like peels or Botox or fillers or body shaping or surgery or they might have the opportunity to get surgery because their place closed it down for two weeks. And now that you've got them, now they'll come back down the ladder for fillers and Botox and peels and retail products. That's the point there. So here are the strategies that are working now. Here's what I would suggest. Listen to all the strategies, decide on two, uh, from, this is your takeaway. Just take two, execute them today. Get them working today and see what happens over the summer. Just two of the strategies executed and focused on will make a be a game changer for this summer. Now, a lot of you are doing email marketing to your current patients. That's one of the biggest secrets. You don't, especially in the summer when it takes more effort to get somebody in, always go inward. Talk to the patients who already give you money, who already know, like, and trust you. They're much more apt to react and um, connect with you in your promotional efforts. So go with email marketing, but here's the issue with email marketing. It is not for the faint hearted. You've got to make it fun, entertaining, um, and encouraging for them to act on it. By the way, the email response that you're going to get, 99% of it happens within 48 hours. So this is a very quick, impulsive message that you're trying to um, get some reaction to. So you want to make it themed. Now I used to do a lot of the summer is coming. Are you ready? In your case, just go to summer's here. Are you ready? You know, just, just go summer's here now. It's fine. And then make catchy headlines. This one happens to have said summer's right around the corner. Don't you want to look your best? Maybe in this case, you want to say summer's here, still time to get hot or something like that. You've got to have special offers and you have to have tight expiration dates. I mean, really tight expiration dates. I would actually have these, like, I would have them like a week at the most, or maybe it, towards the end of the month, but you don't want these to go on and on and on. So here's the thing about email marketing. A lot of you have false confidence that email marketing is the end all be all. The issue is the open rates are horrendous thanks to spam filters and people just, you know, opting out or just being too I'm just too busy to follow all these emails. So as much as you think you're reaching out to everybody, a good open rate is 20 to 30%. That means you're ignoring 80 to, I don't know, 70 to 90% of your patients. Uh, so it's just one thing to do, not all things to do. So in that case, you want to also take a look at direct mail. Again, this is not for the faint hearted. Direct mail is not cheap, but it's very effective if done correctly.
So you want to have things like a strong headline. Again, summer's here, um, uh, summer's here, uh, sizzle for the summer, that kind of thing. You need very compelling copy. This is not about your menu of services. This is about talking about the patient and entering the conversation in their heads that's going on right now. So things like never did get to, you know, your diet never worked. You never did lose the belly fat. Now's the chance. I can help you with that. Call me today. You also need social proof of other before and after photos of other patients who have gotten the result that this patient wants to get. And you've got to have that special offer and a tight expiration date. In today's world, it is too difficult to get somebody to do something you want them to do. You've got to add some scarcity and some encouragement for them to act now rather than procrastinate because it's human nature. We all want to procrastinate unless we have to do something. We hold off on it. So that's why you need some kind of special offer. And quite frankly, that's what helps you decide if this promotional piece worked or it didn't work. You always want to track everything and you can do that with a special offer. Now, here's a great one. I call this the slice and dice letters. And this is a letter going to very specific people. You don't send this to the whole world. You send this to one person who, I'm sorry, a group of people who happen to work in, I'm sorry, a group of patients who came in for a consultation but didn't book. I'm so distracted because this letter is not what it was supposed to be. <laughs> Don't read the copy. Just look at the uh, the sandals. I think that is so cute because uh, it's themed. It's for summer. But here's what you want to do. You want to introduce a new financing program or some type of summer offer because what you're trying to do is get them off the fence. So what you want to do is go to your patient co coordinator or go to your schedule of consultations. You want to see everybody who didn't say yes. They just said, maybe, or I'll think about it, and you never saw them again. Send them this letter, but make it really good. And you can almost even be transparent. I almost, I love transparency. Just say, you know what? It slows down here in the summer. I, you know, my surgery schedule is not as filled as normal. Usually I'm booked out two to three months. However, this summer, I do have special openings for certain days. So if you can fit into those days or weeks, I'll, you know, I'll offer you a $500, you know, gift card for that. You know, it, you just have to make it compelling. Now, these are the theme summer specials. You always want to have a reason why you're offering some kind of a special. It's not just because you're not busy and you're frantic. It's because it's summer. So that's why it's like some of these want to be hot this summer. That's cute. Sizzle this summer. And then here are the offers. The word free will always be the big, the most popular word in the marketing industry. That's a really good one. So is new. So is introducing. So is gift card. So use those to your advantage and put together certain little products and treatments uh, together like free sunblock with laser treatment, minimally invasive body contouring treatment, introductory offer. Um, free Botox with skin tightening. The, the goal here is to have an enticing offer that they can't say no to. And it's also to cross promote your other services or your products or your treatments. Because an aesthetic patient who wanted one thing from you, let's say laser treatment, could also want another thing from you like your retail products. Okay, so you're mixing and matching them, and that actually increases your average order size, and it also increases the value of that patient to you because they'll come back again more and more for additional products and services. Now, in-house signage is a huge one, and I would always keep changing it up for the seasons. Right now we're in summer. So you can use some type of this big floor banner. I love floor banners because they can sit in the corner. They don't take up a lot of space, but they give you a ton of real, real estate to actually explain something. So get your curves back and show some skin this summer. Ask us today about body contouring. That's a great idea. And put that up for the summer and let them ask you, hey, what's that all about? And then you can also have your 
menu of services and your procedural FAQs, like a patient's guide to body contouring. Um, and your here's what happens. I just recently went on uh, two consultations. I do a lot of uh, consulting around the nation. And two of the offices I was in had very stoic exam rooms you know, where the patients sit and stew and they get their injectables and they meet the doctor. And there was, uh, there was some artwork, but there was nothing else. And I said, well, what, why don't you have your menu of services here or your, you know, any of any educational materials? And they say, because it's, we're an aesthetic practice and they already know what we do. And I said, no, they don't. And they said, of course they do. We're, you know, we're a plastic surgery office. And I said, all right, well, uh, let me ask you this. Do they ever say to you, I didn't know you did that. And they had it done down the block. That means your in-house signage is not working. You've got it. On the one hand, you do not want to look like a drugstore with all the vendors, brochures. But on the other hand, forget the artwork. Put up tastefully, aesthetically pleasing signage about other things you offer. That's way more enticing and important to a patient. They don't want to look at your painting. They want to see what else can I do to make myself look great, feel good, and what else can they offer me here? They're looking for solutions to their problems and tastefully done in-house signage in each exam room and in the reception area. That's how you, you avoid the summer slump. You know, give them all sorts of ideas of how they can look their best. I love digital photo frames. If you don't use these, please do. The technology has gotten really simple and it's a very cheap um, tool. And I call it the ask me about tool. One thing that pay, staff has issues with is feeling like they are selling or pushing things onto a patient. There's no need for that. Trust me, the patients have internal needs anyway to look and feel good or they wouldn't even be in your office anyway. So they've already got that. What you want to do is educate them on all the different things you can do to offer them and give them compelling reasons to start the conversation so you don't have to. So digital photo frames, you can get these everywhere. You can get them online for nothing, like $100, and you just fill them up. But here's my pearl. You make it personalized. So you don't talk all about you, you, you. It's all about the patient. And you show off your work. You're bragging about you through your work and through your photos. And you want to make it silent. Too many offices I've been in are have that loop going on, and it's talking at them. The staff hates you because they can't listen to it anymore. They're going to lose their minds. The patients who are waiting too long and they're on their third round are also going to hate you. Why not just do a nice silent loop and have a simple before and after PowerPoint slideshow going around? Very simple, very elegant, very quiet. And I assure you, when you walk in the room, seven out of 10 of those patients are going to say, can you just tell me a little bit more about that liposuction I just saw? That's a good way to do it. Now, check in and check out. This is a vital part of the process, and I find it's often overlooked, especially the checkout. Now, in the summer, what a fun way, set up some type of a fun display that they see coming in and coming out. And we just made this up, but how cute is this? You could have a sandbox with sunglasses and umbrella. You can put your retail products in there and your sandals, and you can offer gift cards. It's I like it on the way in and the way out because on the way in, they'll see it. They'll keep thinking about it. And then on the way out, they'll say, you know what? I am ready to get some of that stuff. It's a great way to sell products for sure. And gift certificates. And why do you sell gift certificates? Because it's a simple way for new patients to get to know you. A loyalty program is a nice, easy one. And it's called, I call it the VIP card. And the VIP card is exclusive and you give it to very specific patients. And somehow, if you can get these personalized, it's a really good way to go. So you want to say exclusive to Jane Smith. And then you want to be creative. What does that mean to you? What would you be willing to do for a VIP client that you want, that wants to be treated special? Because you know that's what this game is all about. The aesthetic patient wants to feel special, wants to feel like they matter, they want to still feel good about themselves. And this helps them feel even better because now they're even above and beyond regular. Now they're special. Just like the airlines do to us. I, 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 I travel a lot and I don't like United. I think they are terrible and I hope they get better soon. But 
I'm so stuck because I can get on the plane first. My luggage always gets on. I get a good seat. So they've got me. Um, you want to do the same for your, your patients. So decide what that means. So in this case, here's some ideas. They can come in for last minute appointments. You'll make sure to get them in for like a quick Botox fix. 10% um, off retail purchases, free shipping of retail products in case they just want to call in and get something and you ship it to them. You can offer them a free chemical peel once a month. Whatever that means for you, decide what you're willing to do for a VIP uh, patient. Because what happens is they start bragging about you and they've got your card in their wallet and then their friend says, well, how'd you get to be a VIP? Well, you know, because I'm a special patient there and you can be too if you go in as often as I do. Now, here's a refer a friend perk card. Here's the thing about refer a friend. You know how you're not supposed to entice somebody, especially if you're held to standards by your medical association, you are never to do fee splitting or anything considering fee splitting. So you're not supposed to pay anybody for a referral. So here's how I would like to do it. You, you do a refer a friend perk card, which means it's a two for one friend program. So buy a package of two facials, for example, one for you and one for a friend and save $50. And that's a nice, easy way to keep everyone out of trouble. <clears throat> But it's a great way for your current patient to come back in and to bring a friend. And this works for everything. You could even do a Buddy Botox friend program, you know, Buddy Botox. So um, buy, you know, Botox for, uh, both, you know, bring in a friend and you and your friend both get Botox for a certain amount. But uh, Or this one, I just like this one because it's so simple. Buy a package of two facials or two peels and you, you know, save so much. And that way the, the friend can either pay the whole thing and the current patient gets it for free or they just split it. But here's the thing. See how it has your name and phone number and your friend's name and phone number. You really want to nurture these. When a friend brings somebody in, you want to thank them profusely for that, for bringing in their friend. You want to treat them beautifully. So that friend comes back again without the current patient and they become loyal to you. Now, this is a really good time to have in-house seminars and small events. This is not typically the time to have big, big parties unless you're in a place where it's really beautiful and nice outside at night. And maybe you can do um, some of the groups have done like a uh, beach barbecue during the day or they do some type of thing at night outside. But sometimes you're just better off. Smaller is better because people are way more and they have a busier social schedule. So you might want to do more intimate events in-house, maybe even tests during the day. In certain affluent neighborhoods, and we have plenty of them in California, there are certain groups of women who are actually, they send the kids to the camp and they're, and they're around all day. So they could actually show up for an afternoon event at your office. So I like these because they're intimate, they're smaller, and they are getting FaceTime with you, with you, the physician, you, the staff. That FaceTime is everything in today's world. Because it's so cluttered in the world, anytime somebody has FaceTime with you, they're much more... Um, open to remembering who you are, connecting with you. When they do need something, they'll go through their memory to figure out who could help them and your name and face will pop up. So I highly recommend it. And then you can always do demonstrations and then be sure you have patients there who have had your treatments and procedures. And then they can talk firsthand about their own experience knowing you and your services. And that'll help compel the others to want to get to know you too. Now, summer's also the perfect time to sharpen your skills and your processes. If it does slow down, it's what a perfect time for you to sharpen your saw. Is that how they say that? I think they do. Or razor, sharpen your razor, whatever that is. So it's a really good time to look at your caller's experience with you, the consultation process with you, what your in-house signage looking like from the patient's perspective. It's a great time to update your photos. I was in an office where you could tell the photos were taken in the 80s. You could tell from the haircuts and the jewelry and the makeup. <laughs> and after a while, you start looking like an old fuddy-duddy. So I, you know, it would, I would behoove you to update your photos and then clean up your office. So many of you have been in your office for a while. You don't even notice how messy the drawers are and the cabinets are. And you don't even notice the laser boxes sitting around because you see it every day. I got, I assure you, patients watch all of that. And it could be just the thing that they, that they decide, Hmm, I don't think this is the right place for me. So the details are pretty important. 
So fixing your phones, nothing is more important than fixing your phones. I could almost make a living just off of this. Um, even if you think your phones are brilliant, I guarantee they're not. Uh, we do this a lot. We do a lot of mystery shopping. If you ever want me to give me a call, we can work something out. Um, your phones are costing you an absolute fortune. And then when I see improving your consultation process, here's what I would do. I would walk through your office together as a team and I would start with, I would have somebody be the eyes, somebody else be the ears, somebody else be the, uh, what, what you smell, somebody else be what you, what did I miss out? what you taste. I don't know if that, that would be weird, but all the senses, you're trying to get all the senses and go through everything from the time people inquire about you to the way you're handling the call, to the way you convert to an appointment, to the office visit, as in, did they show up? Then how do you learn? How do you educate them to learn more? Then how does the consultation go? Good or bad. Then who's closing that procedure? Who's getting the decision? Who's got the you know, who's got a system set up for asking for a decision to be made? And then who's following up and how are you following up? And then are you also getting the testimonials and referrals? So it's really a great time in the summer to take a look at your full patient visit from the time they call to the time they go through your whole system to the follow-up. Could you improve that? And the answer is always. There's always room for never-ending improvement. So in case you don't have my tools, I have made this drop dead simple, easy for you. I have the staff scripting combo tools. It's the exceptional receptionist flip chart that your receptionist keeps by the telephone. It gives them the exact words to say, to bond with the caller, to learn more about the caller and to ask for the appointment in a conversational way. And I also have the audio because it's not just what you're saying, it's how you're saying it. And actually a lot of the bonding is done with the tone of your voice. So you'll hear that. You hear it in my voice already, I'm sure when I talk. And then I also offer the staff scripting for success because it's not just about getting them into the office. You've got to be really good at getting somebody from a, who are you to a, yes, I want to give you thousands of dollars to, to look and feel better. That takes some skill. And that's where the staff scripting comes in. It follows step-by-step step how you take a patient to a yes. <clears throat> And then this is 50 ways to attract more aesthetic patients. This we um, put together our 50 of our favorite, most effective strategies that have worked very well. And these are plug and play graphic templates because so many of our doctors were saying, my Lord, I'm spending a fortune with a graphic designer. And I thought, wait a second, I could do that. So <clears throat> I had my designer uh, design our 50 ways, 50 of our favorite ways. And you do need um, to get Adobe Illustrator or, you know, it's even easier. Just give this to Kinko's or your print shop next door, let them tweak it. I've done all the hard part for you. You just stick your name in there and let it go. And it's got email templates, direct mail templates, VIP cards, invitations, in-house signage, patient letters. It's all done for you. It's as easy as I can make marketing. Now here's what Dr. Smith said. Of all the marketing material I have read and used, Catherine's are by far the best. Her staff guidebooks make the difference between success and failure in converting calls and procedures. Now here, if you're really serious, summer's the perfect time to get this how-to series library. This is a library I put a ton of my intellectual property into. Um, now I'm probably, a, I don't know, 80% of what I know is in these library uh, modules that you'll have for a lifetime. So it's things like <clears throat> the how-to. So you get a complete audio and visual PowerPoint presentation narrated by me, and it's got all the details in there with graphics. And then you also, when I'm discussing graphics, I also give you the graphics I'm discussing so you can edit them yourself and use them. And then it also comes with the guidebook. So in case you don't want to sit down and watch a webinar, which I highly recommend, they're only 30 minute webinars and they're great for staff training and for brainstorming. So what I recommend is you have a staff meeting, plop in one of these uh, modules, the webinars, go through it, we'll listen to all of my strategies. And it's full of, the library has more than 300 strategies in it. And, um, but it's too many. So what you want to do is you follow all my ideas and then you brainstorm and decide on the top four that you're going to implement yourself. And then it comes in a, stud a sturdy white vinyl case and that's for easy storage. So you have this for a career. Now here are the topics. You learn how to differentiate from your competitors, 
how to set up in-house marketing, how to use email marketing effectively, how to see a surge of patients in 30 days, how to coordinate a successful open house, how to be famous in your community, how to promote retail profitably, how to conduct successful patient consultations, how to build word of mouth practice, how to turn phone calls into profits, how to advertise effectively, and how to double your aesthetic profits. It really is chock full of great stuff. You, um, you can't go wrong with that. So here's what Dr. Lehman said. These tools are fantastic. The ready-made graphics give us the good ideas we need each month so we know exactly what to do without guessing. We get an extra three to $5,000 per month in additional revenues, and the hard work is already done for us. Thank you, Dr. Lehman. And then Dr. Fine said, your strategies have doubled my volume. It, it doesn't get more straightforward than that. So here's what I did. To help you through the summer slump, we have a summer slump sale. And see how I theme it? And it's a really good sale. So it's 50% off and free shipping of all the products you just saw. And the way you do it is I have a promo code called half off. And by the way, I've been doing this for over, it's going to be 15 years in January. Everything we do has a 100% satisfaction guarantee. I guarantee these tools will work for you if you just work them. So I stand behind everything. So what I'd like you to do is we have our website. You just go to our website and I've been showing it on the screen here. You go to cosmeticimagemarketing.com and see where that little red arrow says products. Just click on the products and all those um, tools or products are going to show up. And then when you click on them, just make sure when it asks for the promo code, you put in half off. And by the way, I want to give you a sense of urgency. Otherwise, you're going to procrastinate and the summer's going to get away from you. The first 10 orders get my book for free. And a lot of offices have this book. I mean, thousands of offices have it. Um, you could always use another one because you could give it to the staff. You, would, you should have every staff person read it. As a matter of fact, you should have staff meetings where everybody takes a chapter, reports on it, and then you can brainstorm. It's always about fine tuning your processes so they're as good as they can get. So <clears throat> with that, I'm gonna open it up to questions now. And if you've got any, just simply put them in the question box to the right of the screen and I'll answer them for um, as long as I have them. So just go to cosmeticimagemarketing.com, click on the products tab, select whatever products you want, and then the promo code is half off. And so what we'll do about the first 10, I, you won't know if you're the first 10. Um, hmm, let's see. Because, well, you know what? I'll know. I'll, I'll shoot you an email. As soon as I get to the first 10, I'll shoot all of you an email. Um, and then you'll know if you got it or not. All right. So with that, let's open it up for questions now. Okay, so somebody's asking a question about the VIP, like who is everyone a VIP? And the answer is, of course not. You, you need to make this very exclusive, just like they do at the airlines. If everybody were a VIP, then it wouldn't be special. So I personally would say, go through your database, take a look at who are your favorite patients. And you know which, which are your favorite patients, the ones who... Don't complain about your prices. They show up on time. They're, they love you. They love your staff. They're friendly to everybody. Um, they spend a lot of money with you. Maybe even take those patients who have, maybe have a rule, like anybody who's given you more than $1,000 this year or who has given you more than $5,000 since you've known them. You know, decide what your rules are and then keep it exclusive though. Maybe just start with like, maybe 100 or 200 of them and send them a personalized letter with their VIP card personalized and then nurture them and track them and see if it's working well. And if it is, you want to do it again next year. So do it right now for the summer and then you want to pull it out. And I personally would do a 2015 VIP card, just like the airlines do. Okay, now I'm getting some pushback about email marketing. They're saying uh, email marketing, that's how we do it. Um, that's all we do um, because direct mail is too expensive. You can, you can stick to that. And frankly, the answers are in your numbers. If you're extremely happy with your patient revenues and your number of patients that visit you, 
then don't change anything. But I don't think you'd be on this call if you were completely happy with that. So email marketing, I'm just afraid it's giving you a false sense of security. It is dying because, do you know, <laughs> I go to the internet conferences. Do you know what they're saying? The newer generation, they don't even know what email is. You know why? Because they do everything through social media. That's crazy. And they do everything through texting. So yeah. oh. if that's the case, oh boy, we're really in trouble. I personally, I mean, email marketing is not going to go away completely, but boy, has it decreased dramatically. So you just want to be where everybody is, you know, you just want to be in email. You want to be in their mailbox. You want to be on the mobile phone. You need to be everywhere today's world. There's nothing easy about that. Um, the, oh, we're back to the VIP card. They want to know how do I get it personalized? Well, there are certainly vendors out there who can give you personalized cards. There's not, there's nothing cheap about that though. You know, you pay for that kind of service, but boy, Putting, you know, you really do get back what you put into something. So we actually do, um, we partner with, um, we partner with doctors. We do their marketing for them. And, and in that, when you, when we do that, we actually give you these, they look like credit cards and they're personalized. The, the names of the patients are actually stamped on them and it, it's really cool. And we present them in a really nice way. And they just work beautifully. The patients feel special. They feel connected to you and they spend more. And that's the whole point. So with that, uh, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, okay. Somebody's asking about the products. So the how-to series, is she saying, or he or she is saying, is it including the staff scripting package? So it's different. It doesn't include it, but it's different. The staff scripting package is for the group who wants like a, a, a quick fix. They just want, you know, they just want to work with the receptionist and with the staff on how to convert more. The how to library includes that, but so much more. It's giving you everything you need to grow an aesthetic practice. So you could never go wrong having both of them. But if you only had, if you're on a really, really tight budget, then I would say get the staff scripting combo. You can't go wrong. But if you, you know, when things are half off like this, I highly, highly recommend getting the how to library because you'll use it for a lifetime. You pull those modules out when you need them. Like let's say in the fall, you want to hold an open house. You just pull that module down, open it up, talk about an open house or this summer when you want to go through your processes pull out the one called in-house signage, uh, in-house marketing, make sure you've got your in-house marketing in shape, pull out the next module called how to differentiate, make sure you've got those pieces in shape, pull out the next one called how to build a word of mouth practice. It's just chock full of way more than just the one area. I hope that answers that question. Okay. Now with that, I am going to take off. If you've got more questions, you can always call me in the office. By the way, if, if the shopping cart gives you any trouble, you can just call us in the office. We're here and uh, we could certainly just do it for you. And that number is 877-339-8833. And with that, I hope you have an excellent day. Please take advantage of our summer slump sale at cosmeticimagemarketing.com, but make sure you put in the promo code half off. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.